Let's have a look at these two sentences. Ich habe nur einen Bruder. I only have one brother. And ich habe drei Brüder. I have three brothers. And I want to focus on the difference between Bruder and Bruder. In English, if we want to change the word brother into its plural form, that's really easy. We just add an S. And that's the same with most words in English. There are exceptions, of course. There's foot, which becomes feet. There's child, which adds an R-E-N. There are words like sheep that don't change at all. But really, the S is the plural form in English. And we're very used to that. And so in German, we can be a bit stuck. What's the plural form? Basically, you have to learn it when you learn a new noun, what the plural form is. But there are patterns, and this is one of the patterns. You might be used to seeing words like Buch or Wort which form their plurals in a similar way, and that is with an umlaut and then an er to make Bücher and Wörter. But in this case, we're just adding the umlaut onto the u, and that makes a plural. It's a big difference, and the pronunciation is important. Bruder in the singular versus Bruder in the plural. A couple of other quick things. The word nur is translated as only or just into English and is a very important word. The pronunciation is important. Again, nur, nur. We have an E on the verb habe because of the subject ich. And the word einen, it's interesting that the number one is eins. But if you put the number one before a noun, then you're going to lose the S and get a particular ending. In this case, we have an en ending because the word Bruder is masculine and it's singular and it's accusative. That is, it's the direct object of the verb habe.